Ladies and gentlemen, let me welcome you to Feet and Toenail Fungus. How are you, Dr. Robert Parker? Good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you, too. <laughs> uh, busy time of year because uh, people worry about their feet, number one, they're getting cold. And marathon, the Houston Marathon is coming up in about a month or so. And as a runner myself, feet are they're one of the key things because, you know, we pound and pound and pound in the pavement. You must see twisted ankles and, and, and toenails and just curling up all the time. It, it, it's, it, who do you generally treat, you know, year-round? You see a lot of athletes, I assume. Well, we're across the board with a treatment in our practice. Uh, we are a general practice. I do specialize in nerve surgery, decompression of nerves for uh, nerves that uh, start burning and tingling in the feet, uh, sprained ankles, sports injuries, orthotics, uh, biomechanics. We do the full uh, full Monte. Doing about 40 years here in Houston at Parker yeah. Podiatry on Memorial mm -hmm. Drive. Uh, I can look every time, you know, I, I, I do a long run and I just take off the shoes and the socks. It's like, ooh, well, luckily the toenails are still there. I mean, you, you as an athlete and you're running and running, sometimes mm. the, the don't, they fall off and it's gross. But then there's treatment and there, there's lasers like this. And specifically when it comes to that wonderful word right before lunch, fungus. <laughs> what actually <laughs> is toenail fungus and what are the symptoms? This is not just for athletes either. No, uh, fungus is very, very common. In fact, uh, there are... Uh, a multitude of people that have fungal infections all the way from the youth, from children, uh, to the older patients, patients who are diabetics and things like that. But onychomycosis is the medical term for, for uh, fungus, onycho meaning nail and mycosis meaning fungus. And as these nails get uh, worse, uh, they are discolored. They have uh, yellow discoloration. They get thickened. Basically, four different organisms uh, cause the fungal infections. And we can tell pretty much by the way a nail looks what the organism is and big names for them. Uh, T. mentigrophytes is one that looks yellow and flaky and thickened. Yep, got uh, that. Keep going. Got... <laughs> I probably have all four of them. <laughs> Aspergillus agris is a, nigris is a um, blackened nail. Uh, the candida albicans is a whitened nail. And so we can look at it and basically pretty much tell, unless you have psoriasis or something that can look like a fungus, we've got to properly diagnose it. But these get thickened. They get uh, painful. Uh, if you're a runner especially, they, they're very ir irritating. And... Um, uh, in patients with diabetes who are very susceptible to infections from these thick nails can have a problem. In fact, to bring up another subject that you and I probably don't like to talk about is amputations. Um, we have 83,000 83, amputations in, mm. uh, in our country every year. And out of this 83,000, 13 percent or 11,000 of them are caused by thickened, uh, painful nails that become ulcerous and infected and they lose their toe and their, their foot. So um, uh, this is a pretty serious thing. Fungus is just not going to go away by itself. It is not. And there are several treatments over here. What type of treatment options are available? I know there's awesome laser therapy from a high-tech standpoint. I, I love that. Pros and cons for some of these treatment options. What do we got? Well, there there is. Uh, there are many treatments, but uh, basically four different kinds. And I've been in practice, as you know, for a couple of years. And back in the early days, we literally would just take the nails off, kill the root, because people just didn't like these unsightly painful Yum. nails. I, I know it. And it was, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, I mean, I had taken 10 nails off at a time sometimes. Next subject. Keep going. Yeah. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> so uh, topical uh, ointments and uh, I've seen those, those right, kind of creams right. are messy. You've got to put them on every day. Mm -hmm. It takes it's a like year. toenail polish. And it so, takes a long time, doesn't it? It takes almost a year for a nail to grow out on the foot. And the hand, it takes six months. So it's not... It's not too bad, but um, uh, so we used to take the nails off. We used to treat them with topicals. Topicals are only about 10 to 15 percent uh, successful, so they've been pretty much, and they're FDA approved, inter interestingly enough. Um, oral medications came out in the 70s, and we thought we've got it, but the oral antifungals in the 70s were very dangerous. Mm -hmm. uh, we had deaths. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't. Uh, with these oral medications, they were fungostatic. They didn't kill the fungus. It just stopped it, so you take the medicine an entire year, they stopped the medication, it would come right back. So we were left with what we had to start with. And then we came up with uh, Lamisil recently. Mm -hmm. Again, you have to watch your liver, uh, take right. liver function studies pills. and mm -hmm. all that. But now we are laser. We got about a minute, minute to go. Tell us about this laser thing. What's what's involved in the laser treatment it's, for toenails? It's outstanding. I'm so excited about lasers because, and I, we were the first to have laser in Houston over three years ago, and the first one was called Patholase. It was a little pinpoint laser, a, a two millimeter spot. Just two millimeters isn't uh, much mm -hmm. of a spot, and you had to dot 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 the whole sure, nail. Right. But it was effective, and um, uh, we now have statistics out on these. And uh, we've had I have three different lasers now. The second was K laser, more like a little flashlight sure. beam. Mm -hmm. Uh, and now we have Fotana, and in our personal experience with Fotana and these, uh, all of these lasers are effective. 
but the latest one is the most sophisticated laser. It's got computer-generated equalizing tables that give your laser Look beam, you, you know, all the good fancy stuff. The high-tech podiatrist, yeah. right? So, I tell you what, if people want information, I, I know it's Parker Podiatry. What is your office number? Because I know a lot of people are already emailing right now. 497-2850. And that's area code 281. 281 and parkerpodiatry.com. Listen, I'm sorry we ran out of time, but this yeah. is good stuff. I promise I'm going to keep my shoes on right now. So I'm just going <laughs> to. But all good information, especially this time of year, obviously with people getting cold feet and the toenail type of thing, it's Parker Podiatry. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you very much. I for appreciate it. Me. West Houston Medical Center, what a wonderful partner we have. Listen, still four, more folks on the phone. Go check out the blog and the video of this unbelievable high school celebration that was called back because he thanked God on the field. Yeah. On the 950.